Okay, what I'm most impressed is her health conditioning. All of us are freaking out. She is peeled, the rip to the bone. So I want to ask you, how do you get in this kind of condition? So I'm just dieting as hard as I can, I think. What does that mean? Uh, it means I'm, my prep is always like 20 to 25 weeks okay. and I'm on a strict diet. Okay. and I do cardio. I never have cheat meals. I'm never eating a burger or something like that in prep, never. It, I always stick to the basic and train as heavy and hard heavy, as I can. Heavy. Okay. Heavy, yeah. So uh, calories, carbs, protein, yeah, how, how do you uh, structure that? It's um, my coach always sent mm. me the plan, so, yeah. and I just follow the plan. It's me, it's this, I'm, I have to say this prep was really different because uh, I could eat so much more carbs yeah. than the year before, mm -hmm. because I think I have I have, I made some improvements yeah. also with with I gained so more much muscles. Yeah, yeah. Well, because because normal people would like to find out really. I and me as a coach and yeah. a competitor, uh, when you say you had more carbs, how much carbs really in average? Like let's say, uh, is every day the same, or you go high high lows and. Uh, couple of meals, a uh, little bit of carbs or 30, 40, 50 grams? It's mostly the same. Like um, it's always, I eat six meals per day and the carbs are switching. She she looks at, at my weight mm -hmm. and on the pictures and if I should drop the cardio or add more carbs. So if the weight drops too much, she gives me more carbs. But the plan is always the same. Um, like some weeks they will be always changed like two or three weeks okay some but you have six meals a day yeah and uh, you still have a higher fat or it's no, no fat the fat is i have fat, Minimum. but it's um, not much much it's around 20 30 grams a day mm -hmm. and protein it's around 200 so yeah so 35 grams of protein per meal carbs is still in because i i'm curious mm -hmm. myself uh, because this is extreme conditioning, like, wow. So do you get there with the two, three meals, uh, carb meals a day, or you, you do just like it's before from, training, after training? No, it's five. From when I have six meals, I have, um, at the beginning of prep, always I have five meals with carbs, with and carbs. the last meal is always without carbs. Mm -hmm. And as sooner the competition is, um, the breakfast is also without carbs. Delicious. But um, before and after training, and I, I have always carbs, always. Yeah. This, this is kind of system that I do yeah. always. I believe in the morning when you wake up after all night sleep, you didn't have a carbs at the last meal, mm -hmm. you know, so the fasted when you came, came up and you don't do any carbs, you're in fat burning phase. Mm -hmm. right. But then after that, you have to be maintenance phase and anabolic phase. But it's very good for me to, to hear this. So you had pretty much uh, every meal was with carbs. How much carbs? Rice or oats? Or it, it was potato? always rice and rice. oats. Yeah, how, how much per sitting? <laughs> per sitting? <laughs> yeah, like well, per meal. Like, uh, always uh, around 40 grams of carbs 40 per grams meal. 40 grams of carbs, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's... And sometimes she gave me, like this year, she gave me so much like refeeds because mm -hmm. um, she wanted to keep, we wanted to bring uh, also a fuller look mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. What, what um, was, it worked very good, but mm -hmm. also the condition. Mm -hmm. So she gave me so much more carbs and sometimes it was like 50, 60 grams carbs per meal. Per meal. Mm -hmm. That's great. Now, I would like if you would wanna say the name of your coach because obviously this coach is an excellent coach and maybe she can get more business because if she gets you in this kind of condition, she can get the other girls in shape. So mm -hmm. what's her name? It's Dagmar Simmen and she's from Switzerland. Okay. Yeah, Dagmar Simon. She's also called in Instagram Dagmar Simon. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. send me the link. I want to say mm -hmm. hello. Yeah, but because the condition. So, you get in this kind of contest condition like three weeks before the show? The goal is always two weeks, two before, weeks before the show to be um, almost ready. Mm -hmm. But for example, this year I did the LA show and I brought, brought a a really good condition and one or two weeks after I did temp and the condition mm -hmm. was even better yeah. so but we're always speaking on the first show because I yeah. for me the condition is the most important thing yeah, so and she knows that and she's she always agrees with me that we want to bring the condition for bodybuilding is for us muscle fullness 
but the most important thing condition because yes, you know, it's the low most low body fat and uh, yeah. dryness and yeah yeah we all appreciate that i mean you're talking to manager matt right and matt you agree again that the uh, hair conditioning has to be a you know spotless you know just continue with her uh you know crazy look right yeah, yeah. She, yeah. She's, all she has to do is just add a little bit here and there and yeah she'll yeah. be right in the mix with all the top girls Yes, yeah, so I think so too. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's see the your posing. Yeah, yeah, yeah from the front and from the back. I mean, this this is like crazy lights. Look, I read taper. Can you do that one more time? I want to see the everything. Do the one more time. No, the back, 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 back. Because this is just like crazy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But now I'm not in that good condition. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, if <laughs> But your uh, muscle control on the back. I mean, uh, yeah. Turn around one more time. I just can you you can check to do the bodybuilding lat spread pose. Yeah, exactly that. Because I want to see how that works. Yeah. Okay. Have a little bit more forward. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you you pull your lats out anyway. That's good. But with this really freaky detail here, like oh my god. Hmm. Good. Thank you. Thank you yeah, thank for you. this awesome training. I'm yeah, so honored good. and I'm so grateful because I wanted to become better, better, better. That's my goal and I want yeah. to learn from the best because my articles are you, you guys from the... Nice. Yeah, because I really, for me, it's... I, I told everybody because I was learning and looking to you guys from the 90s. From mm -hmm. I was always looking, like right now I'm looking YouTube videos from this time, not yeah. from today, because yeah. I just love to train hard right. and just to, and to suffer because I know everybody like when you were, we were the master of conditioning. Yeah, and I, I mean, I competed 110 times and I was sometimes beating, it was great. I mean, I beat Kevin Leveroni before, right? Chris Cormier, Paul Dillard, you know? But on conditioning, I, I could squeeze in. I mean, they were better bodybuilders. They had more muscle and mm -hmm. they're more complete. But uh, many times on European Grand Prix Tour, I would squeak in, in, in front of mm -hmm. some of those top guys by conditioning. So I love your conditioning, but then when you speak about the training, you, you say you like to train hard and heavy. How heavy do you train? I train as heavy as I can, yeah. for example. For how many reps? It's the rep range is, is always like eight to maximum 15 reps, okay. maximum. So um, it's always like the most, is it is like 10 to 12 reps mm -hmm. so if i can do 13 reps i put on more, more weight, weight. Okay. so that i can do minimum 10 reps okay so that's very good that's progressive overload and this is like that it's called myofibril hypertrophy when you go heavy you mm -hmm. know to stimulate myofibrils but and especially now in recent recent research it's proven that this sarco sarcoplasmic uh, hypertrophy that when you do pump 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 where you volumize uh -huh. it creates the the pretty much same effect you see before there would be oh just the heavier the better the heavier the better the heavier mm -hmm. the better but with heavier weights you uh attack the tendons and ligaments and the body is not designed for this kind of punishment for many many years mm -hmm. i mean I love oh. Ronnie Coleman but you see you know you don't have I thought that I'm only training heavy, heavy. and mm -hmm. in off season I train heavy and then as soon as I start prep I love like yeah you do like like to squeeze, squeeze like to yeah. feel the muscle like feel the mind muscle connection but I never did like giant sets before yeah. and I really can feel the difference. I had such a great pump, yeah, so you and I distance. could feel the muscle. I never, for example, I never felt my calves that good, or my legs, or my back. It's such a different feeling, and I can. I know my muscles, and I can feel that it helped. Yeah, that yeah. I will make improvements. Like so the, the at least one thing to take away from uh, you know my training, you know here that you experience, 
Uh, you can keep your couple of exercises, your heavy duty system, but then when you go to, into this intense kind of training, drop sets, giant sets, prolonged tension, you know, squeezes, uh, it, this is when you want to challenge about it and just mind muscle, mind mm -hmm. muscle, mind muscle, stimulate, and uh, it's uh, weight is not so important, mm -hmm. honestly, because now, uh, and this is what I did in the center, if you just uh, squeeze, uh, let's say for dumbbell holes, you use as much strength to move that dumbbell, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, right? But now, when I tell you, with nothing in the hand, now squeeze, like your life depends on it. They like kill the muscle, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that kind of muscle contraction. So now when you apply that uh, kind of muscle contraction in everything, legs, yesterday when we did leg extension, mm -hmm. squeeze it. Don't just squeeze. There is uh, contraction and maximum contraction, right? Mm -hmm. There's a big difference. A lot of people just do a time under the tension mm -hmm. and they squeeze, they don't squeeze super hard. Right, right, yeah. But physique like yours with that detail, crazy detail, I think that uh, if you focus on more squeezing, more squeezing, that detail is gonna be off the chart, crazy. I believe you. Know? you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm so ready to learn. I'm so ready to become better and to learn new yeah. things and because I want to get better. So thank you yeah. so much. You, you are very <laughs> driven, motivated, ambitious. I like that. And you have a physique and you have a look. So now is just a good moment to make a right improvement. So you look at your physique and say, okay, I need to adjust, add here, there, yeah. there, and just focus on that. Yeah, a lot of people just do every body part the same. No, 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 no. When you have a priorities, you have to put, so what I told Rahel, I want her to do the calves every single day. And just like you felt them yesterday and you felt today, mm -hmm. this is kind of, yeah. So imagine, you're gonna force them to adapt. You're gonna force them to grow. I never felt it. Yeah. Like now I, I have to concentrate me that I can even yeah, stand well. on, because if they are shaking and I never felt it before, yeah, but I like it, it's, I love it. And I, yeah. I'm just so thankful. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, you're very <laughs> welcome. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow, yeah, one o'clock. Yeah, yeah shoulders. Right? Shoulders, yeah, yeah, I know, shoulders are. So there's a, you know, 